Zizi Kadwa was reinstated to parliament despite continuous charges of corruption, according to a comprehensive reason supplied by Secretary General Faikal Mbalula in a recent email to the National Executive Committee, NEC, of the African National Congress, ANC. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. The document, which was acquired by party insiders, provides insight into the internal discussions and strategic factors that influence the ANC's choice. The dedication to the tenet of innocent until proven guilty, as the cornerstone of South Africa's judicial system is emphasized in Balula's letter. He underlined that despite being connected to corruption allegations including state capture investigations, Kadwa has not been found guilty of any crimes and is thus still eligible to serve in parliament under both the law and the constitution. Due process and the rule of law must be respected, Balula stated. Kadwa's return is consistent with our constitutional ideals and shouldn't be interpreted as a denial of the grave accusations against him. Instead, it serves as a reminder of our dedication to justice and equity. Kadwa's vast expertise and skill set were also emphasized by the Secretary General as a great advantage to the party. Mbalula claims that his reappointment is meant to strengthen the ANC's legislative capacity at a pivotal juncture for the party and the nation. Kadwa brings with him a wealth of knowledge and strategic insight that are indispensable as we navigate complex legislative challenges, Mbalula said. However, this action has caused a great deal of debate among the general public as well as inside the ANC. Opponents contend that by granting powerful posts to people who are the subject of significant charges, the ANC is weakening its own anti-corruption posture. They contend that this weakens public confidence in the party's commitment to transparent government. In his letter, Mbalula addressed these issues and acknowledged the possible harm to the ANC's standing. We understand quite well how this choice would be viewed and the criticism it will draw. Maintaining the integrity of our party while defending an individual's rights requires careful consideration. We have to go cautiously and openly across this terrain, he stated. Mbalula also reminded NEC members that the party is unwavering in its fight against corruption. He cited the ANC's commitment in the face of recent steps taken against other members found to have committed crimes. Our performance history shows that we don't hesitate to hold ourselves responsible. The ANC will take necessary action in response to the results of Kadwa's lawsuit, which will be heard via the proper legal procedures, Balula said. The ANC's internal strife and outside influences will probably make Zizi Kadwa's return a divisive topic for some time to come. Balula's letter aims to achieve a difficult feat in the present political climate of South Africa, balancing legal ideals with political pragmatism. Once more, party affiliates are concerned because the African National Congress, ANC, chairpersons in the provinces of Northwest and Free State are not present in their respective provincial cabinets. The party's structures are seized by the worry that this may lead to problems by creating two centers of authority. Nono Maloyi, the current ANC chair in Northwest, decided to quit the government and concentrate on his business ventures rather than run for prime minister. McQueen Letsahamathi was chosen to be premier instead of Mxalisai Dukwana, the equivalent from the Free State. Historically, the African National Congress, ANC, has designated its province chairpersons as premier candidates in order to facilitate an orderly handover of power between the party's institutions and its legislature members. All provinces where the African National Congress, ANC, has a majority have reported this behavior, including Gauteng, where the party's voter support dropped below 50% in the most recent general elections. Chairperson Panyaza Lasufi was able to maintain his position as premier by forming a coalition with the Democratic Alliance and other parties, despite the decline in popularity. The consequences of departing from this accepted standard were made clear in KwaZulu-Natal, when Nomusa Dubankube was named premier in 2022 and provincial chairwoman Sibiniso Duma continuously stole the show at official functions. Due to his activities, Duma gained the nickname Shadow Premier, embarrassing the province administration and making it more difficult for Dubain Cube to carry out her responsibilities. It has been discovered that Dukwana has been selected as the Speaker of the Free State Assembly in an effort to reduce tensions in the state. By doing this, he hopes to reduce the likelihood of confrontations with Letza Hamathi. There is no fear of a power struggle between the premier and the chair, 
according to Toto Makum, the deputy chair.